Okay guys, I wanted to show you a comparison of an industrial uh, machine binder with the uh, the foot and stuff. This is an industrial cover stitch machine and we're going to compare it to the Janome that I showed you in the previous video. So the Janome 1000 CPX. So the difference, the main difference here is you can see how close this binder is to the needle. So it comes with a foot, comes with a foot, and they cut out this area right here. There's the foot right there. Anyway, they cut this out so this will fit in there. And what I know from doing these, they mount with these two screws right here, uh, that if I get the edge of this piece right here, even with the, the outer needle, it usually lines up perfectly. Uh, I just put this in here and sewed a few stitches to make sure that it was lined up and it is. So let me take some fabric here and stick it in the foot. It takes a little bit longer to get this going uh, because of the foot right here. It'll kind of kind of bunch up a little bit. So let me raise the foot up some, get a little bit of fabric underneath it there and tuck it in. And then I'll just take a couple of stitches Usually I just turn the hand well to get it started. Then I raise the foot, let the fabric go underneath it a bit, and then I have to do this until it gets all the way under the foot. So There we go. There we go. That's the only difference on this, the way it's designed. You gotta kinda make it go until it goes under that foot good where it will catch it and it will go. Alright, here we go. Looking at where my needles are. Yep, you can see they're right in the middle. Now, watch when we use this, the needles won't wander like they did on the uh, Janome uh, domestic machine. So once you get it lined up, you're good. You can go. Yeah, and see how little wiggle room we have there? Still lined up perfectly. That's the end of it. Let's see how we did. There's the surge. The loopers on the back. I don't have the tension perfect, so it looks like it's, it skipped the stitch right there. So I have to kind of play with it to get the tension perfect. But the main thing I want to show you on this is how perfectly it stayed lined up in this very narrow uh, area so that's the difference between the industrial attachments and the domestic attachments so if you if you do a lot of binding and you have the room um, I'd suggest buying just an industrial straight stitch machine you can pick those up for like four or five hundred dollars and then you can use the attachments like this where they come with the feed dog the foot and the binder and it gets everything nice and close once you get it set up you can go you can go 100 miles an hour and it won't matter it all stay perfectly lined up so and the only difference here is I have to kind of play with it to get my tension just right 
on this. I didn't do that. And that's why you're seeing the skip stitches on the back side. So uh, I had it set up for something uh, completely different before. But anyway, that's the main thing I want to show you how perfectly aligned it stays on the top. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, as always, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, take care.